Hello, this is a quick demo setup of the SD WAN integration between Viptela and Umbrella SIG for the auto tunnel feature. The idea here is that a branch site using Viptela can build auto tunnel, uh, one to uh, Umbrella data center number one and a second one to Umbrella data center number two uh, for filtering and security services before being routed to the rest of the internet for SaaS applications. Let's take a look at how we set this up. So to start off with, this is my umbrella portal and you can see here there are no network tunnels being set up already. So what I need to do is go into the admin portal and create some API keys. So you can see here that I loaded up my API keys and um, I cut and paste them for my uh, notes here. So we just gotta create some API keys with uh, credentials, okay. And then I simply go into vManage uh, for the Viptela service and I go into vManage templates, go into the features, and I created a couple of templates. And you can see the first one is called SIG template uh, for credentials. And I'll just edit that and show you. So I cut and pasted my org ID from my umbrella portal as well as the registration key and the, the secret keys into here. All right. so. That is done. And then the second template I created is for the IPsec functionality. So you can see here, I created another template for the SIG tunnel uh, settings. And if I edit that, you see that I have created two IPsec tunnels, IPsec one and two, associated them with gig zero zero for the same interface, outbound interface. And one is primary, one is secondary. And notice these are all the IP6 settings with no uh, destination IP address of the umbrella data center because using the API keys, the integration between uh, Viptela and an umbrella, um, the registration process with the API key is capable of finding the nearest data center for me based on my location from my edge device. So it'll automatically find the nearest the data center for me to connect to. So it populates that in, into there for me. Okay, and then that's really it. I'll just hit update here for now. And then um, also I got to go into devices. Okay, and, and I'm using a VEdge uh, device. So I'm gonna go and edit a template for that device as well. And now what I'm gonna do is add in my uh, SIG credentials for the VPN functionality or the SIG uh, credentials. So I just added in for the transport VPN section, add in my SIG tunnel configuration, as well as down at the bottom here, SIG credentials based on the templates that I created earlier. Okay, and I hit update. And I'll go through this real quick. Configure device. And now it's going through the uh, configuration push to uh, my uh, VEdge device here, okay? And one thing I forgot to show you here, and this is just a status. One thing I forgot to show you is also the templates um, for a service route for my VH device. If I go back into features, ten there, we find that device. So this is a template, and this is just a service route that I'll just populate. I add in a, a, a 0000 route to my SIG uh, service. That's all it was. Okay, so that was already done earlier. All right, so now um, that push should have been done. And let me go back over to the umbrella side. And let's go take a look at IPsec tunnels. And there it is. You can see that there are two tunnels uh, that are coming up right now. It's uh, automatic, it's the auto tunnel feature. And it says unestablished because it's being set up. It'll take a, maybe about a minute. Okay, the tunnel is now active. And it's going to vManage. And we can also monitor it from this side. Going to my VR2 VEdge device. Go take a look at the interfaces. And you can see IPsec tunnel one, IPsec tunnel two, and they're both up and up. 
Okay, great. Thanks for watching.